Hi, my name is Glover McGuire. I'm an ex-licensed general contractor. I did a lot of homes, repairs, as you see. Uh, that a lot of these homes has been repaired. But this is my home. I purchased my home in the in the thirties. It was built in the thirties. You can check my deed. And a lot of homes that was built in the Al Park community. My home and other homes was built on a stream. And these homes were built for military staff. And one of the biggest problems that I see with these homes, they don't have any insulation in the walls. What they did back in those days, they used newspaper, newspaper. But now, these homes have been renovated. And 95% of the homes has been put in aluminum side on it, probably only because the house is cold, and that's why they're cold, because there's no insulation. Back in that time, and the only insulation they can get now is put aluminum side on it. And then after they renovate these homes, they charge us an arm and a leg for these homes that we lose out in case factories leave Baltimore, leave our areas. So when I purchased my home back in 1968, I only paid sixteen thousand five hundred, and I purchased the house from HUD at the time. They was asking for fifty five thousand, which I gave them the fifty five thousand. Still too much, but I gave them that. And my house is, is not insulated. I, I want to put the aluminum side on it like everybody else, but if I decide to do it, I will do it myself. Or had someone to come out and put insulation on it, which would only be maybe six, seven, eight, or nine thousand dollars for a company to do it. But if I do it myself, I'm saving. But these companies that is rent, that buy these properties, they are selling them for uh, two hundred fifteen thousand dollars. In reality, all you're getting. Is the aluminum siding because when they renovate these homes, they don't take out the damaged studs and everything in these homes. All they do is just fix and move out, take out damaged wood. And when they put new plumbing and electrical, new roof on the house, but they still leave those studs in the house and no telling what you breathe in. And you pay an arm and a leg for these houses that. That look good, but if you could have x ray eyes to see what's under it, you would definitely change your mind. You would change your mind. But to purchase a home that has been built in the 20s and the 30s, there's no way I would pay the bank or anybody a whole lot of money for these houses. It's not worth it. This is why we're in a lot of debt. But you need to negotiate with the bank or the person on the board this house because he didn't pay that much for it. What probably did at that time when he bought when he bought the house, and I will be calling. I will be going on YouTube again, leaving more information as it available that I could think of. I might be leaving something out. So I'll talk to y'all later. And the other thing is, in our in this community, some people believe to keep the riff raps out and all the problems going through the neighborhood because this is a nice, retired neighborhood for the elderly folks. They have actually paid their dues, did a lot trying to find a place to live comfortably. How Park is nice. But a lot of people believe if we charge a lot of money for these houses and a lot of low income people cannot afford them. You know, that sounds good, but it's not a good thing because these houses are not worth all that money that they're trying to get out of um, low-income people. So, I don't think that's a good idea because, again, these homes are built for the military and they're built on a stream and they pay a lot of money for these houses that was renovated and just put a little siding on it. We can do that ourselves, save a lot of money. And then if the company or factory decide to leave and go out making a, a less money in the city, 
we would be able to maintain and pay for these houses, you know, for uh, because the prices are so low. But for two hundred thousand dollars, a lot, and I sympathize with people that have family, cars, a lot, a lot of debt. A lot of debt that they can't afford, but if they lower the price of these homes where we can actually afford them, we can survive.